Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel video, we are going to start our discussion with the user forms. Uh, so first of all, let us understand that what is a user form. Uh, whenever you go on any website or uh, you are asked to enter some of your details and um, a simple example uh, we can take is a Google form. Okay. I am sure that you all must have encountered one or the other Google Forms. So those forms actually prompt you to enter your details. There are uh, the different kinds of fields like there are text boxes through which you can enter text data. Uh, then there are these check boxes through which you can select multiple options. There are radio buttons through which you can choose from the various options. And then there is a submit button. So a collection of these kinds of controls or tools is what makes up a form. And a form is used to interact with the user and actually accept user data. And uh, ac uh, whatever the data is accepted, it is used to store that data in the database. So that is the basic functionality of a form and why it is used. It is used by the various companies to accept the data from their users, to accept the feedback of the user or to register them and many more purposes. So from this video onwards, up till the next few videos, we are going to see all about the user forms. That is, how can you create a user form? How can you add these different types of controls in a form once it's created? How can you manipulate some of the properties of the forms? And um, uh, we are also going to see that uh, how can you handle the events? Like we just learned about the events in the previous video. So we are going to see that what happens if the user clicks the submit button on the form or what happens when the user clicks the cancel button on the form and so on. So basically the next few videos, uh, we are going to talk just about the forms, forms and forms. Okay. So let's just start with this video. Uh, I am in my VBA editor. So in order to bring up your VBA editor, what you need to do is first open up your MS Excel and then press Alt F11 key as the shortcut and your VBA editor would be up and running in front of you all. Then in order to insert a form, what you need to do is just go to this insert tab and uh, just search for the second option. Just go to the search, uh, second option, which is of a user form. So when you click on it, what happens is you get these bunch of things. What do I get over here? First of all, let us see the project explorer. In the project explorer, we have got something written as forms and in this forms, we have got something as user form one. Okay. And uh, this user form one is actually the name of my form. And this is the form that I get. It is completely blank. Uh, the only thing that I get over here is user form one as its name and a close button. And uh, in the properties window, if you see, we have got a bunch of properties that are related to the user form one. That is all these properties associated with the user form one. And when you just double click on this user form one, you have got this small box, which is known as the toolbox. Now, what is the usage of this toolbox? This toolbox contains these various tools. Uh, if you just hover over it, so you can just sell, uh, get a tool tip on what these tools are like select objects, labels, text boxes, comma boxes, list box checkbox, radio button or option button, toggle button and so on. So these are the various tools which we can add over a form. We can add a checkbox, we can add a text box and so on. But we are not going to uh, see the toolbox in detail in today's video because it's the topic for future videos. So we would be seeing only about the forms in today's video. So when we're talking about form, what we have got is a simple form. If we just uh, click on this run button, then what happens is we get this form as it is. That is, we had nothing in the form. All we had was this user form one and a close button. So that's what we have got. If we just close it, then we are back to our VBA. Okay. So let's make some changes to this form. Uh, so to make changes, a simple uh, method is go to this properties window. And in this properties window, the first thing we have got is user form one. That's the name of the form. Let's just keep it that way. Because through this, we are able to recognize that um, what is the name of our form. And this drop down is uh, right now only having user form. But as you add those different tools to it, these tools would be added to this drop down. Okay. So let's just change its caption. The thing you see here is caption. So let's just change it to something like um, Excel form. And as you change the caption, you must have noticed that this thing, this caption over here is changing as well. You see, it's simultaneous. So Excel form is going to be the uh, caption. 
of my form and um, if you now run it then what we have okay actually now what happens is we have got the same form with nothing on it but we have got the caption as excel form so that's how you can uh, just change the caption of the form suppose you want to change its back color so this is the second property named as back color there is this drop down uh, i'm just going to just uh, increase its size a little bit so this is this drop down from here you can uh, just ch uh, check these different colors either these system colors or you can go to the palette colors i prefer the palette colors and whatever color you like you can just choose it and that form would be colored in that particular color so i'm choosing this shade of green and now if you run it then you have got a form with this uh, dark green background color uh, so that is about it okay now these are these different options so you can just change it uh, and one more thing is this startup position if you run this form where it is coming off is actually i want this to run so uh, it is coming at the center of the screen okay so if you want to change its startup position then how can you do that so for this you have a property known as this startup position that is right now center owner uh, so if you want you can just change it like you can change it to center screen now if you just run it then it is again in the center uh, so let's just think of other things other positions that is windows default so let's just run it so windows default the position changes so that's how you can change the startup position of your form as well uh, and then there are these other options like you can change its width suppose it's right now 240 uh, let's just change it to 100 and as soon as you click over here you can see that the width of the form has changed to 100 now if you run it so its width is it's very thin because its width is changed to 100 okay now uh, similarly there are these different options which you can play with there is this height which you can change as well let's just change it to 300 and you can see it's changed to 300 and let's just change the width also to say 250 now we have got this uh, nice looking form if we run it then we have got this nice looking form over here okay uh, apart from this you can see that uh, up till now uh, whenever the form was open we got this mouse pointer over here so this mouse pointer simple default mouse pointer we got but if you want you can just change it to anything else suppose you want a cross over here so we have selected this cross then what will happen is if you run it the mouse pointer would change to cross whenever it is on the form if it is outside it changes back to the default if it is in the form it changes to cross so these are the different things that you can manipulate with the forms and that was a basic introduction on the forms there is one more thing that i need to discuss and that is about the security in microsoft excel now uh, once you have created a form so we know that forms is a very sensitive thing because uh, through this form you can actually accept the data from the user and uh, there is a method through which you can accept the data from the user form and display it in the form of excel sheet so whenever you are working with forms it is advisable that you add a password to your workbook as a whole so now we are going to see that how can you add a password to your workbook so for this purpose what you need to do is go to this this workbook option and let's add an event so let's just select this workbook object and as soon as you do that you will get this event workbook slash open or underscore open so this is a workbook event and let us add a password to this workbook so what is the process of adding the password that's actually pretty simple all you got to do is um, first of all uh, accept the entry actually you need to show an input box okay uh, this means that as soon as the workbook opens you will get an input box and the prompt you will get is enter password you can give any message that um, i'm entering enter password okay so when you get this input box the user prompts to enter something enter a password and when the user enters this password then what happens is i want to compare it that if a equals to three uh, two three four then so i have taken 234 as a valid password so if the user enters 234 then only this is considered as a valid password then in that case what i want if the password is valid i want a message box to be uh, shown displaying that it is a correct 
password and then the user can continue working on the workbook okay else that is if the user does not know the correct password then in that case what i want i want again a message box to be displayed with a message that the user has entered an incorrect password so this is a message that uh, you can actually customize as per your wishes then i want this workbook to close because i do not want the user to work on the workbook once uh, i am sure that the user does not know the password so i want this workbook to get closed and this is the way to do that this workbook dot close is a method and then that's it so let's just end this if statement and that's the code that you should do okay so once you've written this code you can just close this vba you can close this workbook and make sure to click on save option so this workbook would be saved and this is my workbook named as error so let's just open it and uh, what happens is as soon as i open this workbook i'm prompted to enter a password so if i enter 1234 as the password which is incorrect and click on okay then i get this option as incorrect password and i have to click on okay so as soon as i do that what happens is this workbook gets closed okay you can see no workbook is open it is actually closed okay now if i just go to file and open this error book uh, error workbook again then again i am prompted to enter a password now i enter the correct password 234 i know the password and uh, i click on okay so i get the message that the password is correct and as soon as i click on okay i am able to work on this workbook so that's how you can actually protect your workbook with a password that's all for the video thanks for watching